Hello there and welcome to Snowy Art and today I'm painting a fun winter scene for beginners. It's called The Old Bridge. And if you would like to paint along, these are all the colours. Black and white, yellow ochre, emerald green and cadmium red. Starting off with a mid grey, not too light and not too dark. You don't have to match this shade exactly. Near enough will do just fine. And this is the pathway on top of the bridge where all our figures are going to be walking up and down. Next we want a much darker grey. And as it's a very old bridge I want to try to make it nice and rustic looking. So I'm not going to block it all in totally. Leave a few areas here and there to indicate snow clinging to the stonework. Keeping it nice and loose. To create a decorative arch, I'm using a fairly light grey here. Then matching the dark grey again to separate the stonework. I do like painting black and white scenes. There's something only worldly about it. I suppose it's a wee bit like watching a black and white film. So a slightly lighter grey than we used for the walkway. And these could be blocks of flats or factory offices. I'll let you decide that. As Bob Ross always said, it's your world and you can have anything you like in it. And you can have some fun here by shaping each of these a bit differently. Again, these are old houses, maybe older than the bridge, so they've got the right to look a bit wonky. Let's see where we're going to place this next one. We want to keep the middle free, maybe over here. So we've got mainly three grey tones going on in this painting. A mid-tone for the walkway, a lighter, slightly lighter tone for the gable ends of the buildings and a darker tone for the bridge face and the front of the buildings. It's a dark wintry sky we're after now. So I would like to concentrate most of the darker greys along the top, then gradually lighten the sky as we work our way down. Again, keeping it nice and loose.
And while we're at it, we'll maybe put some of this gray down here as well. For the snowy roofs, I'm just using titanium white. We're painting nice and simply here. Nothing too complicated about this, guys. That's what I like about it. You want your paintings to be fun. And it looks like we've got one sort of pointing up the way here, which I'm liking. I'm being careful now to lightly drag my brush across the walkway uh, to leave some areas bare. This is where the snow has been trodden down into slush uh, by all the little figures walking up and down. Okay, let's add some snow texture to the roofs now. And real simple, I've loaded my brush with paint and as I'm applying it, I'm also turning my brush, leaving little mounds of snow behind. Let's put a few smoky chimneys in for a bit of atmosphere. For the smoke, I'm just making lots of tiny zigzags with my brush, and that's all there is to it. Red tends to go well with grey, so I've toned down some cadmium red by adding just a smidgen of emerald green. And if you don't have any emerald green, really any other green will do just fine. Pop in a few windows, and you can make these windows wonky as well. Adding our second colour here for the lamppost light. Just a neat wee circle of yellow ochre for a Christmassy glow. And we'll leave it at that. A thin line of snow along the top of the far wall here uh, will help to separate it nicely from the houses. Before we paint in the figures, we're going to practice a few first, so you can get a feel for how to do them. They're all men heading to work, and more or less dressed the same as men did back in the day. Just three parts to them too. Overcoat, cap and trousers. I always begin with their coat. And to make it really easy, there's no need to paint in any of their arms, as it's cold and they've all got their hands buried snug in their pockets. Let's have a bit of fun with this next man. And put a nice bend in his body. Then just as trousers to go, and again there's no need for shoes either. Uh, we can't see them because of the, the bridge wall, and they'll be in the snow anyway. Now here's a guy who looks like he's eager to get somewhere. Or maybe he just wants in out of the cold. Alright, let's
let's get these guys into your painting now. And I'm starting around a third of the way in. Have fun with their shapes and paint each a little bit differently than the other. Give them a bit of character. Our next group of men just starting uh, left of the middle of the board. Maybe we'll have this guy walking the other way or he could be walking sideways and talking to this guy beside him. It's quite early in the morning and it looks like it's been snowing all night. Some of these men have maybe only had a, a quick cup of tea and a bite of toast and now they're all hurrying in to get clocked on and into work. There you go, just a few caps and uh, these will keep their heads nice and warm as they're trudging their way along the snow. Alright, a drop of snow now and I think that will do us. And I like to paint the snowflakes individually and that way I have better control over which direction I want the wind to take them. And it's also fun to do as well. Let's pop it in a frame and see what it looks like. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, leave a like and thanks for watching.